red in my bathroom. I want to bring more black accents into the space. This is the before and this is the after. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. channel i hope you enjoyed the little morning montage i'm trying to like you know be a vloggy girl and please excuse my voice because it's still early in the morning she's a little raspy but today we are doing some work in the house um i'm going to be redecorating for like the third time already i'm gonna be redecorating my bathroom i want to bring more black accents into the space because she was looking a little washed out and real yellow and i don't like that um and then i don't have much like real work to do i do have some editing for youtube to do i need to go to target get all the stuff for the bathroom and things like that and girl i'm on a diet so we gonna see how i eat throughout the day like story time i went into h&m just because i was shopping around like just bored for real, for real. And I saw that they had some jeans, and they looked like pretty good quality for H&M. So I was like, bad, let me try some more. Girl, I picked up a four and a six, because I noticed that they weren't really stretchy. Girl, I go into that changing room. Oh, tell me why the four, the size four, didn't go above my knees. Wasn't even going over my kneecaps, girl, and then the size six didn't get up over my thighs I was like oh <laughs> oh the little grown woman at 25 weight hit me like a ton of bricks I'm spreading like the Red Sea and I'm not used to it so <laughs> I went to the gym last night I'm going every day this week um I'm not sure if I'm gonna add that I'm saying this because I was gonna cook dinner for y'all but Baby, dinner may be a plate of spinach. So y'all gonna see my eating habits throughout the day. I have a meeting soon, so I'm gonna probably pick this back up when I'm making some nasty diet breakfast. Yes, people are emailing me, so I'm gonna see y'all later.
Now, one thing about me, I eat I eat healthy on the regular. Like, normally, I eat healthy. But, as soon as I feel like I have to eat healthy because I want to look in a bathing suit or my birthday coming up or I'm starting to feel fat even though I know I'm not fat and everyone's beautiful, whatever size you are, whatever size you wear. Okay? But as soon as I feel like I have to, Everything that's healthy starts tasting nasty. Or I don't want to eat it. Or I don't want to do it. Because now I feel like, okay, I have to, like, it's a requirement. Like, I don't know. And y'all, I'm nasty. <laughs> I'm not nasty, but like, I like eating soft boiled eggs now. I don't know why. I ain't never had that before in my life. Until I just tried it one day. And like, texture wise, I like them better than like hard boiled eggs. But I can't cook them right. I either cook them too soft to where they're like runny, I don't like it like that, or to where they're hard boiled eggs, like a regular boiled egg. It needs to be soft and ooey gooey and have a little bit of drizzle come out, but it's still kind of like firm. I don't know. This chicken sausage is busting. Y'all look at my skin. It's really giving, besides my forehead. Ooh! That reminds me, I need to take my vitamins. If y'all want to know what vitamins I take, I like Hums. I actually don't like them. I actually am going to stop taking them all together because they taste disgusting and I hate it. If y'all have any recommendations on like any multivitamins for women that you enjoy, comment them down below, please, because I don't like the way these smell. I don't like how big they are. I don't like gel pills at all. Like, why is the pill so huge? Like, it's very unnecessary. Very unnecessary. If the vitamins you take come in gummy form, please let me know. Because I really don't enjoy taking vitamins. Like pills. But anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. So I'm about to finish my breakfast. Do some more work. And then we're going to head out. First, I think I'm going to go to a printer place. I'm probably going to go to like FedEx or something or Staples. Because I need to get a print for my bathroom. Print it out. I downloaded one from Etsy, so we're going to see how that goes. I need to do that first so I know what size frame I need to get. And then I'm going to go to Target. Depending on if Target has affordable pr frames. Do they even have frames in the first place? I may have to go to Target and Michaels. So we'll see. But I'll catch up with y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back. After a lot of running around like a chicken with my head cut off, I think I finally got everything I need to redo my bathroom. I just spent a lot of money, and I spent a lot of time. Y'all had to go eat me some kava, give me a little salad, you know, on my diet. You know, I'm on my diet. I had to calm myself down, girl, because people outside moving crazy. Cutting in front of me like I won't hit them. Like I won't let them hit me and run that bag up. Girl, so I had to just calm down and get myself together. So now we're about to do a haul. Okay, because I'm excited. I have to show you guys this amazing find that I got from Home Goods. It's some artwork. She is gorgeous, okay? She's huge, first of all. Isn't it so cute? But I already made sure that it fits in my bathroom, and it does. This is fire to me. Like, you guys see the detailing? The little hearts and stuff, the line art, it's just so cute, the faces. It's nice and abstract. I love it, okay? Um, this is only $25 from Home Goods. Hello, like, do you see the price? Can you see the price? You can't see the price, it's too big. But basically, I went to FedEx, they could not do what I want. They could not do what I want, like. Okay, let me, let me explain. If you guys want artwork, go to Home Goods. Or go to TJ Maxx. Or go to some place like that. Because if you do... This is what I don't understand about the whole download from Etsy situation. If you want it to look really, really good, you have to, one, purchase it from Etsy. So, yeah, that was only $5. It was like $6. Okay, that ain't nothing. Then you have to go to a print place. Uh, then you have to go to a printing place to actually print it. And if you want it to look good, like I wanted high-quality paper and I wanted it glossy. Like with a gloss, a gloss finish. He told me that was going to be around $40 and you was going to have to wait for it. Like, he was like, we busy right now. You're going to have to come back tomorrow. I'm like, what, bro? I'm trying to get this video done and edit it and put up. So, no way, Jose. And then you will have to get it 
I wanted mine framed, so I was then going to have to also purchase a frame. So that would have been $6 plus $40 plus like $30 to get it framed. Girl, that's $76 versus $25. And I don't have to do any work. Like I don't have to drive to a printing place, drive to a frame place, put it together. You feel me? So that's number one. I feel like I felt a steal, girl. Like, that was a steal. I'm so excited about that. Then I got me some... Y'all, I'm clumsy, and I already have a lot of white and cream in my house, and I just keep adding white. I got some white towels. First, I was going to do black. But, first off, they didn't have any black towels in Home Goods unless they were black and orange Halloween towels. Girl, I, I could actually barf. I could actually barf. And then I got some white and black ones to go on top. They're DKNY and this was $13 and it's a two-piece set. And these were $8.99, I believe. $8.99 a piece. Boom. So that's $18 for right there. So yeah, first off, I couldn't find any black tiles. Then I was going to go for gray, but it wasn't given. And since my artwork is black and white, I was like, I just I should just do black and white. Nothing else. So there's that and best belief I then went to Target and got me some hand towels that y'all can wipe your hands on if you ever come visit my house because you will not be touching my white towels I won't even touch my white towels they are literally there for show okay something that was irritating me was I will actually use the cream ones that's usually in my bathroom to like wipe my hands every time I wash my hands and my boyfriend would irritate me when he came over and he would wipe his hands, but he wouldn't fix the towel after. That grinds my gears. So, these are decorative towels. Don't touch them, okay? And then these are a necessity. I needed some big um, exfoliating wipes. Because um, usually I use them, like when I'm actually taking off my makeup, I use these straight out of this like, plastic pack. But I have them in my decorative jar on my counter i'll show you guys what it looks like um and i was starting to like run out so i was actually using the ones that was in my jar so i need to refill it and then i got me a new liner for my shower curtain girl because if you don't change the lining of your shower curtain you're dirty you're dirty you're dirty okay that's all i gotta say i'm sorry that's all i gotta say you trifling actually because those things are hard to clean The next apartment I get, hopefully, um, it's going to have a glass shower. And then I got a package because I want to be a handy gal. Okay, I want to be a handy gal. <laughs> I want to change my shower head. Yep, I want to change my whole freaking shower head, y'all, because the pressure, the water pressure isn't hitting how it used to. Like, when I first moved in here, I was like, oh, yeah, I bagged the apartment with a bomb, with bomb water pressure, and it's not hitting like it used to. I've cleaned it. It's basically, like, rusted. Like, the stuff don't come off when I clean it, so it's time for a brand new one, and best believe, when I take, when I change my shower head and I leave and I Get on niggas. I'm putting that old shower head back because y'all not getting the stuff I bought for this crib. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Yesterday, I'm going to show y'all. I put some uh new light bulbs in my bathroom. I kept the old yellow daytime ones. Ew. Because y'all not getting my LED white lights. No, ma'am. And then I had to get some wood glue. Also had to get some wood glue because this kitchen is falling apart. <laughs> I'm stressed. Now let me show y'all what my shower head gonna look like. Why did I ain't put a picture on it? That's whack. Okay, this is what the like hose is gonna look like. You know, I'm just saying, I got the two piece one. And then this is the new shower head. Ah, and it's like mirrored. I think that's so cool. And it's like really mirrored, like. Y'all can see my TV. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
so cool. Fancy stuff. Fancy schmancy. All right, you guys. So let's go put everything together because at this point, I'm super excited. Okay, you guys. Last thing that I forgot to show you because this came in the mail yesterday. I got me some black bath rugs because my old ones were cream and it was just like an old and dingy i've washed them because you know they're you could put them in a washing machine and they was not coming clean how they should have these were the old lights you see how they're yellow and trifling looking <laughs> these are my new lights i put a new white light in every other place just because i wanted to see how bright it was gonna get and as you can see it's super bright in here right now so i'm gonna wait until my boyfriend comes and he can tell me like what he thinks about the lighting like if it's light enough or if i need to put some more in because girl I almost died while i was trying to put them in there i had to stand on top of my um what is it called my sink and that was not fun girl I almost slipped and broke my neck <laughs> so uh, i just hope that when i do everything else today it goes smoothly because that was the situation oh y'all know what i did do i only got two tiles oh i'm gonna have to take them tiles down Cause those tiles I use for my body, I'm gonna have to take them down <laughs> for the video and then put them back and then get two more tiles. Freak, I did not even think about that. I would have just got four in total. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I don't want white tiles because white get dirty and you know, makeup and stuff. Huh, what up? Should, should I put black tiles over there? I don't know, y'all. I'll probably ask my man about this too. I'll be getting his advice so he can feel included. Out with the old and with the new baby, period. Usually I wash my stuff before I put it up, but I'm not using these. They just for the cool. Why am I just not realizing that the hand towels are off white and the white towels are a white white? Y'all, that's just what it's gonna have to be because ain't no way I'm spending no more money on no more tiles. No, what do it look like? What is giving y'all? I don't know. I'm not used to folding tiles like and putting them up like that. Like, I don't know. So we finna move on. Ugh. Child, this water been through some things, okay? I don't even know how you supposed to do this, child. We gonna see. I got my handy dandy tool kit. Y'all, at first it was a shelf right here. I love that shelf. Like, that shelf was perfect. The only thing was, I guess my decor items on it was getting a little too uh, heavy. So it started to slide. And I didn't want to, like, really, really mess up the wall because it was put in with anchors and stuff. So I took that off. Then I tried to make my own little decor. And it just wasn't giving to me. Like, it wasn't doing it for me. And now we're gonna put this up. So hopefully this is the last thing. Cause when I say I'm tired, maybe I'm tired. So how I hang things up, or what has helped me in the past is, first off, I bought a little like hanger thing from Amazon. And it has like all these different types of screws and hooks like this and stuff. So luckily this came with a hook on it. We love that. Some of them don't, a lot of them don't. But I just put my hook on to it on the back like that and I hold my fingers and I place it on the wall and I press these little nails into the wall so those are my markings so I know exactly where I should put them up oh where's my boyfriend when you need him I can't see a damn thing child Now that that's done, I'm just going to hammer in the nails.
excited to take pictures in front of it. Oh, so cute. That's, ah, that's so cute. I love the black detailing. Like, I really love decor and just like interior design. It, it does something to me. Okay. Like it really does something to me. Like don't be surprised like when you see me doing something in the future with homes. Like I would love for someone in my family to get into real estate and then they have me like set the homes. I think that's so cool. Like people who do that, I think they're so cool. So I'm like obsessed with some of these shows on Netflix. I think it's called like dream makeover home dream makeover something like that i watch all those shows i wonder if it has anything to do with the shows I used to watch with my aunt my Ari. because that was definitely the stuff she used to watch all the time whenever i would come over her house now i want to get into decorating my little like hand corner over here i'm about to show y'all so this is the corner i'm talking about and then this is the stuff that i need to add um i told y'all this is the jar that had my um face pads in it and i'm running out so i need to refill it and i need to switch this up because this is not cute and it's too junky so first off this is empty and this green i don't know i just want it to be black and creams so of course i'm gonna take all my jewelry off um this is where i keep all my like smell goods and stuff so i got this bottle this is hand soap from bath and body works it's the uh mahogany teakwood scent just because it was black and i love that scent anyways like i have a candle to my dang you need some wd-40 anyways i have some black um spray paint so i'm thinking about spray painting this outside to see what it gives to see what it gives um and then let me see this is what i used to put my um that's what i used to put really this is what i used to put my um tissue in it's a tissue holder but i think um i want to find a way to put these in here because i don't want i don't have any rack for this to like go on and this box is ugly so i'm gonna put it in here because this matches the cream like this is the same cream as this and that's the same cream off white as my shower cream and oh yeah check out the mats now check out the mats period they're nice and plush i'm probably gonna set the camera up and just let y'all watch me put all this stuff up okay you made me so, 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 ah. Okay, y'all, that's what I have to do, because putting these inside that other little container was not gonna work it was not gonna work so that's what's gonna have to go right there and then um i went and spray painted that little this little diffuser thing like the other one i spray painted it black with this spray paint because yeah that's what we're gonna have to do and while that dries outside because they're on the balcony um, I went ahead and put in my other shower curtain. This was a real shower curtain, y'all. I wanted a liner, but they did not have any. That was nine freaking dollars. And now it is time to change my shower head because right now it's getting regular and it's getting whack. So let's do that. I'm about to go watch some TikToks and figure out how to take this off. And I will show you guys this is the before. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all the after because I don't have time to mess this up. Okay, and this is the after. Oh my god, I love this new shower head. First off, it's mirrored. Hello, ew. <laughs> and then, like, everything works. The shower head pressure. When I tell you the pressure, baby, is pressure. So is the like little hose down here. Everything was super easy to do and like install. 
I absolutely love it. My shower is about to hit tonight after the gym. New shower curtain. I always have this close. I don't know about you guys. And then I went ahead and um, I spray painted this, but I didn't do a good job with the bottom. So I just want to see how it looks. I will touch it up tomorrow, but I think I want to sit this right there. And then these are the little scents that go into it. I have to pour my um my smell good in there but i think i want to put that right there so we have two equal scents coming from both sides and then i want to put this right here just to cover you know the mishap that i did right there this is my bathroom spray so yeah that's what that little corner looks like and i think she's so cute i just took that spray from over there because it didn't blend with that anyways but yeah you guys this is the finished product and this is the after don't forget i have to change these towels out they are not staying this is so cute to me like when i stay here and take my pictures it's gonna be so cute ah, i love it so yeah y'all i think that wraps up today's video i am about to go to the gym because I'm trying to be a consistent queen, okay? So, please give this video a like if you enjoy, like, the day in the life type of vlogs. One day, soon, I will be able to, like, film a lot in one week and give you guys a weekly vlog. But for now, we're going to stick with these day in the lives. So, make sure you like if you enjoy today's content. And, of course, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Yay. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah.